Now let's go back here and see what's asked for next. So the next question is asking me for a series of scatter plots. So here, the variables are going to stay the same. Um, for each of the scatter plots, but the time is different. So again, I want daily Ebola search volume index on the y x axis and voter intention on the y axis for the month of September. So I'm going to go up here. First, I have to transform my data or select my cases. So I'm going to go to range. And the first, let's look here real quick. The last day of September is on the 30, row 32, that's September 30th. And the first day of September is case number three. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to put three through 32 and click OK. I'm going to go back to my data set and see how I have the entire month of September now. So now that we have our data defined, we're going to go up here to graphs. We're going to go to legacy dialogues. We're going to come down here to scatter plot. Click on simple scatter. So graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter plot, simple scatter. Take the date of the month and put that on the x-axis. And then we're going to put our voter intention index, not the change index, voter intention index, put that on the y-axis. And then we can put a title in here. I've already titled that the month of September. And we're going to click OK. And this is kind of what the graph should look like. Now we need to do our next graph. So we need to transform our data again or select our cases. And this time we want to do the last week of September. The last week of September will start in row 26 and go through row 32. And I'll show you that here in the data in just a minute. We're going to click OK. Let's look at our data. So now we have everything X'd out except for that last week of September. We want to go back up here to Legacy Dialogues, our simple scatter plot. Everything's the same, except for here, why don't we change the title? to last week in September. Now you can see it's magnified this, this part right here. All right, so now we want to do the entire month of October. So we're going to select cases again, we're going to data transform, select cases again. And here, the first month of October starts at row 33 and goes through row 63. Let's just double check that real quick. You can see October 1st to October 31st. We go to graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter plot, define. Let's change that title again. Everything else stays the same. And here's our month of October. Now our last scatter plot is the first week of October. So again, transform data, select cases, range, and we know October ends on the begins on the 30 and row 33. And we want the first week, which goes through row 39. Let's just take a look and make sure that's correct. October 1st through October 7th. Go to graphs, legacy dialogues, scatter plot, define. Everything is defined. Let's change that title. Everything else stays the same. And we have our graph again showing that enlargement of that first week of October.
And there you have it. Let's see, what else is this asking us to do? The next is gonna ask you to prepare a, an APA style. So go back and review the information in the module. The write-up will be shorter. You're gonna present two correlation coefficients. Um, I've given you a scaffold again to use. There's a couple of videos there for you. Um, please use that information to help write the correct information. You don't need to present the means and, and standard deviations for this. Um, sometimes people do a four correlation. Um, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna have you do that. Um, and then just make sure you turn everything in. You'll turn in the SPS output with the two correlations and this, the four scatter plots. So you're gonna take all of this output and you're gonna either copy and paste it into a Google Doc, which is probably the easiest to do if you're on the AWS, is to take this information and put it into Google Doc, although the tables don't necessarily transform correctly. Um, you could put it into a Word document and save that in email to yourself. Um, you could take a screenshot, if you take a screenshot and put that into a Google Doc, that will keep the formatting of it um, in case you wanna do your write-up outside the AWS and at a later time.